Today, we are going to understand the concept of decimals. You all know that when we were learning lengths, we knew that there are kilometers, there are meters, there are centimeters, and there are millimeters. A kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. A meter is equal to 100 centimeter. A centimeter is equal to how much? It's equal to 10 millimeters. Right? This is what we know about lens. Now, the question is that in case someone tells us that, you know, suppose there are two people, A and B and both were carrying books. The book of A was, let us for a moment assume, 20 centimeter, 5 millimeter. And the book of B was 25 centimeter and 8 millimeter. Now, can we write it differently is the question. Suppose A said, I don't want to use millimeter. I want to express this length of my pencil book into centimeters. Can you please help me out? Now we know from the table above that 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter. Applying the unitary method, 1 millimeter will be equal to how much? 1 upon 10 centimeter. Why? Because we have to reduce this centimeter. I mean, 10 millimeters make 1 centimeter. So obviously, 1 millimeter is going to be less than 1 centimeter. And to arrive at that number, I need to divide this 1 by 10. Now, if you divide this 1 by 10, what do you get? You get 0 0.1 centimeter. Okay, and how do you get it? Suppose you have to divide 1 by 10. Now 10 doesn't go into 1. So you apply what? A 0. Or you apply a point here. And you get a 10. Then you put in 1, you get 10. And this crosses out. So point 1. Now 5 millimeter is also equal to 0.1 centimeter. So this length was actually 20 centimeter plus 5 mm or 20 centimeter plus 0.1 centimeter. This will give me 20.1 centimeter. Let me just carve this out for you. So now, what is the important thing? The concept that I wanted to explain to you was of the decimal. A decimal is basically an important point which kind of puts different kind of variables, different kinds of units. So here where I had centimeter, here I had millimeter. So I converted this millimeter into centimeter through the use of decimal. Similarly, if I were to try this for this, let us see, 8 millimeter. So I know 10 mm is equal to 1 centimeter, therefore 1 mm is equal to 1 by 10. The same logic as we had used here. 8 mm is equal to 1 by 10 into 8 centimeter or 8 by 10 centimeter. Again, I perform the same part, 10. It doesn't go, I put on a point, I get 0 here. 8 times gives me 80. So this is equal to 0.8 centimeter and 0.8 centimeter when added to 25 will give me 25.8 centimeter. So we try to convert various units which are different in nature through decimal, use of decimal into one unit. Let me give you another example. Suppose your father gives you rupees 5 and 50 paisa. 
again how do you write this if you have to write it you write it as 5 rupees 50 paisa so you again use a decimal a decimal basically demarcates two different units so while this is rupee this is paisa but this paisa is now converted into the same denomination of rupee so instead of 50 paisa 50 is definitely a bigger number than 0 0.50 but when 50 paisa has to be converted into rupees then basically you divide 50 by 100 and when you divide this you get 0 0.50 so the idea behind using a decimal is to convert two different units into same kind we will see more of these in the subsequent lectures